let's get started. I'm going to take this out back and spray paint it silver. And then when it's done and dry, I'll go ahead on to the next step. As you can see, I spray painted it silver. And this is the spray paint that I used. Picked it up at Walmart. All right, so I'm just going to let that dry. And when it's done, we'll go on to the next step. Hi guys, and welcome back. My base is completely dry. My next step is to add these little pine cones. They came in this pack and it was six in here. I'll be using these because I can use these outside of Christmas. And I want them to be three different heights. So let's see which ones. Okay, so this one would be in the back. And what I'm going to do is use a little bit of E6000 and some hot glue because I want it to last. So now just take some glue, hot glue, put the E6000 in the center. And now I'll just put this here. And I want to position it to where you might have to if you decide to use these pine cones you might have to push the pine cones into each other because you want to be able to put your wine glass completely over the base okay so I like that height so again I'm going to add a little bit of E6000 and then my hot glue Just press down until the glue dries. Okay, so we'll put the third one here and I want it shorter. And I want it shorter than this one. And once you get them all set, you might want to add more glue just to get them to lean a particular way. Okay, I like that. But just get them on there and then work with them if you need to. Okay, so now I'm just going to look around and see if I need to add some more hot glue. This one is leaning a little, so I want it to stand up straight, so I'm going to add some more hot glue to the base. And I'll use a popsicle stick so I don't burn my fingers to hold that down until it dries. And guys, you would definitely get some strings of glue when using hot glue, so just pull those away. Okay, need to add a little bit more. You don't have to worry about the glue being seen because you will be adding your snow.
Okay, so that didn't move, that's perfect. And let's see. I want to straighten this one up some more, so I'm going to add glue. Remove any glue strings that you might see. And the back seems to be fine. Hmm. Okay, so let's try glass. And before you um, use your glass, make sure you clean it really well with soap and water and then wipe it down with some alcohol or witch hazel. I use witch hazel and I had a um, tag here that I also was able to move really easy using the witch hazel. So now you just want to put this over just to get an idea what it looks like. Okay. And I'm thinking I want this to lean even more the other side so I'm just going to add a little bit more glue. And guys, I picked this base up at Michael's and it was perfect. I've seen this done on uh, YouTube before and they use like cardboard or whatever, but I wanted mine to have a more finished look. So I decided not to use the cardboard. And I swear it's a perfect fit for the Dollar Tree wine glasses. Now get your glass and get an idea about where you want to put your glue. And I'll be using the E6000 because I do not want my glass to separate from the base at all. So what I'm going to do now is just go ahead and put in a little bit of my Dollar Tree snow. You can use whatever snow you want. You can use glitter. I have like big flakes of iridescent glitter that I could have used. You can always add or take away, so you just want to get an idea right now of how much snow you think you might want to add. Turn it over. And I think I want to add a little bit more snow. So I'm going to flip this over again. Try and shake my snow off. Whatever sticks on the pine cone, that's fine with me. So I'm just going to add some more snow. Okay, so I think that's more than enough. All right, so now just flip your glass back upside down. Pat away as much. Take your E6000 and go around the edge of the glass, like right near the inside. It would probably be better to use the E6000 with the skinnier nozzle. bottom which is now on top and make sure everything is in place and press down and try to make sure it's even so now you can turn it back upside down and just check it out and inspect it So what I'm going to do now is just go ahead and put some weight on top 
and let this dry completely and once it dries I'll be back and we can go on to the next step okay so stay tuned before we go to the next step just let me say this I'm going to use this level thingy make sure it's level because you once you press it down it looks even but it still could be deceiving to the eye so I want my candles to sit upright and straight so I'll use this level all the way around and make sure that it's perfectly level all right guys I'm back and this has been drying for about two hours so now I'm just going to go ahead and use my glue gun and run a bead all the way around the outside of the glass Take a look at it and see where we are. We could really stop right here and be done with it, but I'm a little bit extra sometimes and I just really want to bling this one out. So I'm going to go ahead and um, paint this base and I'll be mixing some silver glitter in with some Mod Podge and just cover this. All right, so I'll be right back. So it's ready now. And now I'll just take my paintbrush and go around. I'm trying to hold this so you guys can see. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this foam brush and brush it on. So that's it for now guys, I'm going to go ahead and let this dry and once it dries we'll go ahead and go to the next step. Okay guys, so I'm back and my glitter has dried completely. So now it's time for me to add a little bit more bling to what we already have going on here. And here I have some little um, rhinestones that I picked up at Michael's and they have like four or five different sizes in, in there so I chose this size. So I'm just going to take my glue gun and start gluing these stones on all the way around. Now, now you could use E6000, but the thing about it is it makes the stones appear cloudy. All right, so I'm just gonna to continue to glue these on and pull the strings off as I go around and I'll fast forward this part for you guys. I have burned myself several times with this hot glue. And I might have to use a bigger stone at the end of it all, but we'll find out. I'm 
gonna have to come back and clean that glue up later. Okay, that's perfect. What I'm gonna do is use some sequin. I've made a really a real mess of my counter space here. But what I wanna do now is um, add some sequin around here for some added bling where the glass meets the base. All right, so I'm just going to, I think this is probably like the front. I'm just going to add just a cup, just a thin little bead of glue. And put down my sequin. Try your best to keep it straight. Definitely trying to twist up on me. Like here. So I'm just going to cut that piece off because I don't have the patience <laughs> today to keep trying to get that straightened out. Okay. See this, so I'm just going to kind of melt down the glue that I just put on here because I want it flat and smooth.
going to clean this up a bit. Clean the glue from around the neck and around the bottom, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. And because I want this to look like a really good finished piece, I'm going to add some felt on the bottom. So I picked up some gray felt. And now I need to have some chalk. I don't see a pen. I'm just going to go around it, get an idea of how big it needs to be. Hmm, how's that for a circle? Not too good. So let's flip this over. Get an idea. But you guys at home, you know, take your time doing this. I'm kind of rushing myself, just trying to get through the tutorial, trying not to make it so long. So what I'm going to do, just go ahead and, let's see, it can stand to be a little smaller. So I'm just going to fold this in half and go around. It's going to be on the bottom, so it really doesn't matter so much. Whatever sticks out, I can come back in and cut. So I'm just going to go ahead and add some glue all the way around. So just come in at an angle and cut any extra felt off if you didn't cut yours perfect. Okay, shaping up pretty good. Move that aside. Now, there's so much more that you can do with this. It depends on how decorative you want it. You can actually go in around with some chains and let it drop. That would be really pretty. Or you can uh, embellish it with some other stones, just randomly here or there, whatever. It's up to you. So I'm just using a piece of felt and cleaning with some witch hazel. Kind of putting fingerprints right back on there. And you might see some glitter on the inside from the pine cones, but that's okay to add to the sparkle. So now I'm just going to take a pipe cleaner and just wrap it around this glue stick. Just for a little bit more added bling. And so now I'm just going to wrap this around the neck. And that makes it a little bit more festive, a little bit more holiday themish. Okay, everyone, so that's it. All right, so if you enjoyed this tutorial, and you haven't subscribed already, please take the time to subscribe now. I would really like to have you join my YouTube family. And if you have any questions, concerns, or comments, please leave it in the box below. And I look forward to seeing you on my next one. Thanks so much for watching.